Sometimes I go to the depths and just float there. And I imagine maybe this is how it is to be in the womb. We met in 2016 in the Bahamas at Vertical Blue. It's the largest freediving competition that's held annually. And suddenly this athlete who I've never met, uh, such a girl arrives in the island, beautiful Japanese girl, and, and suddenly the competition wasn't <laughs> the most important thing. <laughs> I always wanted to give birth in water since I was a kid. I was telling him that, like, I want to do it in the sea. We were shooting with shark in the first trimester, and I was like, you know what? We should find somewhere that I can give birth full of shark so that we can prove that shark is harmless. <laughs> but then he was like, no, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, also like to give birth in the lagoon with dolphins. There are places in the Bahamas where yeah. dolphins come in shallow water and they show a huge interest in pregnant women because they can actually use their echolocation, their ultrasound, and they can detect the baby in a mother's belly. So it's definitely possible to give birth in the ocean, but it needs to be very warm water. And we looked into places in the Pacific, um, but ran into problems with like standby emergency facilities, that kind of thing. Ma, それでも変な話、強行することはできたんですけど、まあその時にいや違うなって思ったんですよ。なんかそこまでやっちゃうと、それは私のエゴになっちゃう。だから。そこは違うなと思ってじゃあ海っていう選択肢が立たれた。じゃあどうしようかって思ってでじゃあせめて水中出産って思った時に沖縄にそういう施設がないんですね。まあなたが主体出産そういうナチュラルに医療も介入せずに。かつ水中で産みたいんだったら可能であるんだったらニュージーランドがいいんじゃないって言われて Coming down. Hello, Baba. So I feel like baby's grown in the last week, which is、yeah. great. Okay, so just feel down here and just check that it's head down.、Mm -hmm. Good. If we do get to do a, a water birth, then hopefully our daughter will feel like the water is an element that she enjoys being in, and it'll be natural to her. Essentially, we are children of the oceans. We evolved from the oceans far back in our evolutionary past, and now we need to nurture our mother, our parent, and give back what she has given us. I would love to show my baby the ocean that I used to see when I was a kid, like that colorful, beautiful、um, ocean. Unfortunately, it's not as colorful now anymore. But then I believe that we can stop what's happening now to prevent it to be worse and worse. In New Zealand, our indigenous dolphins are under threat. While we we're waiting to have our baby, I decided to swim the Cook Strait to raise awareness to the plight of the hectares dolphins. So the baby was. Only three weeks away from the due date. That's why I was a little nervous. If I went to labor in Wellington, we wouldn't have to set up for the water birth. Conditions have deteriorated a little bit. We're about 15 knot winds, a bit of chop, and white water. And the sun went down, and I was already fatigued. So that's when the cramps set in. 
thinking about what Sachiko would have to go through in the next month. You know, labor is supposed to be one of the most difficult things that a woman goes through. And I just had in my mind, you know, you've got to do this. You've got to do it for Sachiko and the baby, for the dolphins, for everything. Well done, buddy. When I'm in the ocean, it's weird, but sometimes you feel like you're home, going back home to the water. I hope my baby feels the same way too. How's that, Mila? That's the Pacific Ocean. I think she will, though. <laughs> 